Hi, I'm Reynolds Boyd with Southland Transportation Group. I'm currently in a model year 2022 International LT, and I want to show you a few points on using the factory equipped power inverter optional on the International LT truck. The factory inverter is located under the lower bunk in the sleeper. The inverter is mounted to, to this partition located here. Taking a closer look at the inverter and how it's mounted, you can see how it's mounted here to the partition that's part of the frame that makes up the lower bunk. Okay. So let's take a look at the control panel for the inverter. It's located in the right rear of the sleeper around with the uh, temperature controls. And here is the control for the inverter. To turn on the inverter, briefly press and hold the power button and release. So the truck is currently running and we're showing a voltage of 14.1 volts. As we press the select button, we can cycle through and see the amount of voltage or output from the inverter and what is being used. Now one important point I will mention here is that the standard settings, um, the desired settings for the inverter itself can be changed from this panel. Before changing any of those settings, you need to refer back to the fleet manager and ask what those settings should be. To power off the inverter, again, press and hold briefly the power button and release. The truck is also equipped with power outlets, 110 outlets on either side, as shown here. This truck is also equipped with shore power, meaning that you can plug up the chassis itself and truck to 110 volts and the inverter will act as a battery charger and the power will go directly from the power plugged into the truck and out to the outlets itself and does not drain the batteries. It's also important to note that the area around the inverter needs to remain ventilated. You do not want to put materials around the inverter that reduces the ventilation and the ability of the inverter to cool itself. Secondly, you also want to ensure that this area remains dry. You don't want any liquids around it or spill any liquids on the inverter itself. And lastly, you do not want to have any combustible materials in this area around the inverter. Here's one more look at the inverter as well. Coming in from the side cabinet of the truck, And again, you want to keep that area open and clear, again, for ventilation.